people to have that experience. And not just the boss fight, because the boss fight is just a small portion of the, the build-up that they have that leads up to this shit. I really, I really want other people to experience it. So, um, please, for the love of God, chat, if you get the opportunity and you care any slight fucks about this game, if there is, if there is, there's going to be, I'm already warning you, this game is going to have insane fucking lines every single place it's going to be at because there's a lot of FF7 fans. But do your best to get there early and try to get tickets for a presentation or whatever, whenever they do it, if they do it at other places. Uh, the best thing they can do is let other people fucking experience See, it's this. fucking froze. Really, really don't want to be describing this game like a crazy guy. It's so slow. Like I, I was beyond impressed. Like I, couldn't, I could not fucking believe it. How slow and chunky it is. Like, damn. Also, I'm playing using the fucking control stick instead of the D-pad. See, this is what happens when you press the D-pad. Nothing. I can't move back unless I use the control stick. That's, that's how shitty it is. It's a change of shit. I can't run unless I hold down the R, the, the right, the right button. No, I'm supposed to be able to play the fucking Mario game, but only using the control stick. Also, the sprites are shit. Look at the tip of his nose disappear. I can't fucking do it. I'm I'm trying to use Joy Key as well, but no, this the shitty controller support. That's not controller support. It's controller detriment, and you need to fucking take it out of your game. You don't know if you realize, but every time someone mentions controller support, it ends up being this shit. I couldn't even crouch. Not before, no. I can't crouch unless I use the control stick. Also, what the fuck is this programming? Nope. Everything that was down here. This is supposed to be a coin block. Right here. God damn control stick. It's supposed to be right here. It's empty. It's a regular block. It doesn't do anything. The enemies aren't supposed to fucking constantly come up the pipe and eat you out. No. That's, that's stupid. Huh, well that's interesting. That makes sense. That's the one thing that makes sense. They sealed off the uh, the pipes. If this were really a battle royale game, where you had to fucking get to the end as fast as possible, and you had the warp zone open, it would not be a fun game to play. So, look, well, good, good on you know, for doing that. But everything else is shit. Oh, sure, it's widescreen, but there's, like, too much cutoff. All of this down here, we shouldn't be able to see any of this. It's, it's a bit much. It's pretty bad. I came into this thinking, oh, hey, it was going to be interesting to play, right? Wrong. I'm using a fucking control stick. I shouldn't have to use a control stick for this game. It's pretty bad. This in particular, no. Like, you can see as I'm pressing my, us pressing the stick and everything on the controller, what's happening in real time. There's no bullshit going on here. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Please don't sue me, please. Oh, you're going to get fucking sued all right, dude. <laughs> you're going to get sued just like Jimmy Marchie. Whatever the fuck that dude's name is. It's, it's going to be for a fucking video, man. Something stupid like that. Bad. 
Wow, I died and I don't even know how. I couldn't see any fucking thing. Could you see anything? Because I sure as fuck couldn't. Also, yeah, that's, that's pretty bad. I can turn off the sound and the music, but I can't turn off the controller support. That is bullshit. That's not helping anyone. That is certainly not helping me. With the uh, supposed controller support, you see, without Droidy Key, it's the same fucking thing, basically. The only thing I have... I don't even think I have an active... Hold on, let me, let me look real quick. See, I'm not even holding anything, and he's moving to the left on his own. That's how bad the controls are. I can't fucking move. There we go, hold on. I'm gonna look at Droidy Key real quick. All I have are the W, A, S, and D keys. The sign? Literally nothing else. I tried using the, uh... I can move with the D-pad after doing a little bit of configuration, but I can move right normally. Up is jump, left is jump, and it makes me move left. What the fuck's wrong with this? Is that this not this should not be fucking happening? I can go down pipes just fine, I guess. I thought the game was freezing. To be honest, okay, there's no enemies down here. Should have no problem, but. No, you need to fix this shit. It's shit. You can't... If you were to release this on any website or try to publish this shit... Oh, and holding left! But only the they at me continuously fucking jumping. That's another thing. It's bad enough. Up equals jump is the biggest fucking cardinal sin you can fucking, like, uh... commit in any sort of fan game, whatever it is. But up equals jump? It, it's basically up equals fuck you. Thanks for playing my game, asshole, but... Yeah, well, well I, don't, I don't give a fuck. You make me work to play your game. It's fucking bullshit. It's not comfortable. It's not right. It needs to be fixed. Sure, I made it to the castle level, but that's because I was trying to just fucking bear with it. I hate this shit. Look, I'm holding the button down. I'm not supposed to fucking do that. I have no buttons assigned. Only the D-pad for controls, right? Nothing. I just... Oh, their sound stacking is, is just as bad. None of the other buttons do anything so far. Like, the right button must be run. For some reason, there was auto run and rapid jump. Like, no, that's not how you make a game work. That's garbage. I guess I'm the only player left. Oh, yeah, I can't go down the pipe now. But if I do, even if I stand on the pipe, the enemy keeps coming out of the pipe. Had we some competent fucking programmers, this wouldn't have been a thing. I'll admit, I don't know I don't know that much about programming, but I'm go I'm gonna go ahead and assume that, yeah. All you probably had to do was copy the source code of the game and put it in some sort of program and then work off that and boom, you have something like this. Except you shouldn't end up with something like this because this is bad as it is. You can go backward, but if you try to yeah, see there's no real point in going backward though. It's pretty bad. I'm gonna turn off this fan. I hope that's not affecting the audio. What happens if you go over here anyway? 
Well, you can die jumping off the edge. That's another thing that he didn't think that he would put up invisible walls. Yeah, you can die here too, I imagine. Yep. You could probably jump over the flagpole and die. But I'm not gonna try that. It doesn't run nearly as fast as he ought to. It might be the frame rate, because this is chugging as fuck. This is almost as bad as a PC-88 game when it comes to scrolling. You could look at one particular portion of a repeating pattern, and it would not appear to be moving, even though you're currently moving throughout the stage. That's how that used to be on a PC-88. That's how slow this fucking game is. Oh, and I have a fucking Patreon. Yeah, well, I'm not signing up for that shit. I already can follow him on Twitter. I thought, oh, hey, follow him on Twitter. Maybe that'll do a thing. Nope. It didn't even respond to anything. Sprite sheet update. Clear your browser to the cache to hit new flags. Uh, fixed world 5. I always only partially. And care about any of this shit. Let's see. It, it doesn't work. Even without Joy to Key, I'm gonna turn it off, right? And try to play it with just the so called controller support. And even who know any anyone who is anyone, anyone who knows fucking indie games or fan games, and anyone who is a snubster will tell you that if the game claims to have controller support and it's not made by somebody like oh, Sunsoft or WayForward or Yacht Club or any fucking indie developer or some random guy who is very well known for his video game making skills. If it's not made by those people, it's shit. You don't even need to watch Nico like, evaluate shitty Mega Man games to know that fact. I mean, it, it is a fact. If you go and watch his series, that yeah, he has struggled with controls in various games. Yeah, they're just Mega Man games for the most part. But still, they're made by random people who think that Mario Maker and Mega Man Maker are like, oh, this really big new cool thing, and for the time they were. But it's really not that different from Game Maker and RPG Maker, which are too fucking common. You, you see so many games now made with RPG Maker, Game Maker. Oh, Game Maker? Yeah. I thought that was going to be a good idea, too. I never fucking thought to go and make a game with that. I have ideas, sure, but I'm never going to fucking make it. I'm just I'm just playing the games. I don't have time for programming shit. Look, everybody froze. You see that? I'm not gonna really want too many pipes though. It's a neat idea, but there's too many fucking players. Which is causing massive slowdown. I don't have shitty internet, I'll tell you that right fucking now. I pay good money for my ISP to give me bullshit cable that I don't watch, and internet that keeps me alive in the morning. Watch some kind of fucking YouTube, whatever the fuck that I watch on the internet. So it's definitely not my internet connection, it's not my controller. Despite how fucking old it is, it's an old white Xbox 360 controller. A wired one? So that's another thing. Can't talk about bullshit latency, because this switch is wired, it's plugged into the controller, and I have no problem using it on anything else, including a 360. So it's not broken or anything like that. It's the game. It's really slow. These sorts of things were not meant to be done by amateurs. 
No. You really should have put a bit more testing and programming prowess behind this sort of thing because it ain't working. This ain't it, Chief. He's running and you can only see one frame of animation. Damn. And if you're gonna make a game like this, go all the fucking way. Don't just make the game and then just half-ass it. Like this. Like, I've seen so many fucking good and terrible Mega Man fan games that are probably based on some regular shit and some of the really, really bad ones. And I can tell you for a fact, amongst, the, amongst those I've played, including, what was it? Uh, Mega Man Rock Force? Yeah. Which was pretty bad in some points and pretty interesting in others. <laughs> Amongst the other fan games I've played that aren't Mega Man, that's one of the worst. It's up there with some of the good ones, too. It's, it's good and bad. It's like Mega Man 2 by Capcom, which is terrible in a lot of ways. But it's good in, in several different ways. This is not even remotely like that one. And not because it's... I'm comparing it to a Mega Man game, but because it's... Uh, it's like, it feels like a Flash game. You know what? I have a better idea. I'm gonna stop playing this fucking garbage, and we're gonna play a game with dinosaurs in it. That is so much better than this. And it has massive multiplayer online. I got a fucking headache just watching myself play this bullshit. I'm not going to stream this. If you want to play this, I'll link it in the description if I upload this video because of the fact that the OP didn't even put it in their fucking tweet. Yeah, not the one I've seen. I don't really care. This is one of those things that's definitely getting nerfed by Nintendo when it, uh, before long, just like all the other Mario projects, you can't keep using this fucking IP and expecting them to not uh, to either not sue you or, or take your project down. And even if you did change the characters around, like one smart, very wise guy who's still around to this day updating and making his own fucking game, even if you did that, you'd probably still be sued or, or have a cease and desist, which I can see happening because word of mouth gets around. Shit like this is on the internet. People are going to talk about it and compare it to other things. I'm like, yeah, this is exactly what's going to happen. Also, fucking Mario Royale that already fucking exists. It's called Mario Maker 2, and you can play with up to four players, and you can play online. And you can basically make any course you want, so, eh. Well, I, I will say this. A Battle Royale game would not be bad if it was made with some of the best possible assets and other things. These are not the best assets. This is, this honestly just feels like some sort of boredom slash college programming project thing and and then oh someone decided to use Mario and something else. Oh it's real easy. Let's just pick Mario and make a game. A, a shitty game. We just needed to pass a grade. It's a and then it's a hobby afterward. That's what it feels like. It doesn't really feel like too much thought or effort went into this. Unless it was just for that. I mean otherwise I'm not I'm not really seeing it as anything else. Really, really bad. Mega Man Eternal is better than this. 